enjoy. Yeah, I will. I'm trying to. It's really hard for me to actually get stuff for myself sometimes. It's funny. I'm in downtown Chicago. Downtown? What? What? Y'all know I live downtown. <laughs> yeah, and yesterday, someone gave me a check. He said, God said that he wanted me to upgrade my wardrobe. So, I'm actually about to go shopping, which is a very different experience for me because, um, yeah, I never go shopping by myself, for one. I'm an extrovert, and I usually shop with, if not, like, my mom and Gussie and, like, our friends, our sponsors, right? I do all that kind of stuff, so to go shopping by myself is a little bit of a different experience, but I know the look that I'm supposed to have now that I need to wear, and so it's probably good that I'm going by myself so I can experience it and I could be excited, and so I'm going to update you guys. I'll show you some of the outfits. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but you're going to go on this adventure with me today, okay? something about myself today and I don't know if I like it but yeah everybody out there is like oh it's so pretty and it looks good on your shoulders and I was like yeah. I don't know <sighs> help father help me I only have to wear this with like a dress underneath or tights on I don't okay so I'm gonna let you guys into my world I do not like buying pieces that are like this where they're like really like noticeable because I wear a lot of plain items that I can reuse so I usually don't like to buy stuff that's like very unique and I feel like those are all the things I'm picking out today so I like usually function off of a couple outfits and I mix and match and like filter them through but I feel like I'm supposed to get like individual things today So I chose to come to Chicago because I had graduated university in Minneapolis, Minnesota and was visiting my friend Patrick who I met at a convention. Everybody says, oh it's so great to meet you, you always have a home in Chicago, you always have a home in Minneapolis if you want it, you know, let's, let's get together sometime. No one does. Patrick and I did. Um, once a month for about a year and a half I would come stay with him for a weekend, him and his girlfriend and we had a great time. We became fast friends, really instantly clicked, and once I graduated, he said, Haven, what are you doing? Just moved to Chicago. So I did, and times were crazy, and it was difficult, but we found a way to make it work, and that was about four years ago now, two and a half years ago, once I got my own place, um, after living with Patrick for a few months, I started hosting bonfires out of a little fire pit that I built myself. Took zero dollars and about three hours of work and at the very first bonfire event I met the woman who about two years later became my wife. Um, her name is Ara, she's beautiful and tiny and feisty and easily my best friend. It's, uh, we're actually planning to move to New Zealand um, sometime in the next year but Chicago has brought a lot of powerful things into focus. So. That's my story. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm shoe shopping and I start crying. Like, who does this? And that guy gave me a hug and he told me his story. And I think like shopping, you know, back home is just like something I do with like friends and family. And I think it's really hard to do by yourself sometimes because I don't know, like it's just, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. I feel silly because I'm crying in the store people are looking at me and you know he was so kind but um yeah I know this is a good thing it just doesn't feel like a good thing and I feel like I've been at it all day and I haven't bought anything yet so I don't know
Okay, I just got out of H&M. I got like bags on bags on bags. No, it's um, I feel better. I feel better, guys. <laughs> I know I probably scared you, but I just, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because I was talking to one of my friends and she was saying it's totally normal, like homesick moment, but also like I think it's good for me to like, Go shopping by myself. I'm such an extrovert. I'm used to being around people and then making like, I don't know, clothes decisions. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I guess it is for me. <laughs> uh, but I got really different pieces. I think the other thing is that I'm dressing for a different life. Like, I know that sounds probably really weird, but I'm like dressing for business and like, I don't know. It's just a totally different look, I guess. You know, it's like Elizabeth Patrice, like, it, I don't know. It's a totally different look, and I'm totally fine with that, and I went across the street. <laughs> it just took me a minute to, like, get used to the whole entire process. So, now that that is over, I'm going to go take myself to eat and enjoy the rest of my day. <laughs> and I'm not, I was just sad for a moment, <laughs> and I feel silly that it happened in the middle of a thing, so it's just like, oh my god, I can't deal and it's so weird to me that I can like vlog with all these people walking around and looking at me and all of that. I can do all of that. <laughs> but shopping by myself triggers something. <laughs> I'm like, I am going to get through this. I'm going to be able to do this. I can handle this. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> listen. Listen. I'm going to actually try new things. <laughs> yeah. I was just manifesting because I wanted to get stuff on sale. And it didn't happen because the clothes that I needed to buy for my life are not the on sale type of clothes. So, bless the Lord. I still got shoes on sale though. So, that was kind of good. And then one of the pairs of pants I got were, they were originally $45 and when she rang them up, they came out to $8. So, that was really good. <laughs> it was a surprise. But I have a bunch of new outfits and yeah amen <laughs> thank you thank you thank you to all of you that have been watching and supporting and following and <laughs> encouraging comments and thank you to whoever um did the youtube fan fund thing i i don't know who it is because they do it anonymously so i just want to say like i really appreciate you and um if you wanted me to review a certain product you just need to let me know because I do do that on my channel, so if you guys um, send something, make sure that you send me a private message on here so that I can actually fulfill the service you're paying for. Um, and if you're just giving it just to give, like, thanks for that too. That's really sweet and kind of you. Um, I don't really ask you guys for money on YouTube, but I appreciate all your views and all that you donate. 